Can we just take a minute to appreciate this shirt? It says, who, those who dislike cats will be carried to the cemetery in the rain. Very true, I feel like. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I control my frizzy and damaged hair that I have on my head. I'm gonna take you guys through the products that I use after washing it and even the shampoo and conditioner that I use to wash it and how I just manage it and yes. Before we get started, I'm just gonna give you a quick summary of the hair type that I have. I have very dry, damaged, frizzy hair. My hair just gets very big, if you can't tell. I know this even looks big right now, but this is actually really controlled for me and it's actually not that big. Um, I have a hair type that's very thick and almost coarse and I have a lot of hair and whenever I don't use the appropriate products it gets huge. So I used to have really really long hair but well, a couple years ago I dyed my hair silvery lilac and that bleaching and processing totally totally damaged my hair and dried it out and made it absolutely awful. And so uh, last summer I decided to get my hair chopped off and I just went with um, the lob look. So enough rambling, let's go ahead and get into the products that I use to make my hair not so huge. Before I jump in the shower, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the shampoo and conditioner that I have used. And I use the Living Proof No Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner and they just come in these bottles. I got both of these from Ulta and they have changed my hair's life. It just totally flattens and smooths it out, but still it doesn't weigh it down. So my hair still moves and has a lot of like body and movement and stuff like that, but it's not super weighted down. It feels very clean and it keeps your hair clean for a super long time. I can get by without using dry shampoo with these combinations for probably about two days. Even though I didn't mention it, they are a little bit on the pricier side. That's why I bought the little, I didn't get the big containers of them, just the littler ones, just because they do run a little bit pricey but um, I kind of splurge whenever it comes to my hair because if I don't, then I'll just walk around with a huge, huge, huge head of hair. So I'm not one of those YouTubers that bring you in the shower with me, unfortunately, but I will go ahead and go through what I do in the shower. I just go ahead and shampoo my hair and rinse that out, and I always make sure to use some cooler water because if you use heat water, it damages your hair and just it makes it more frizzy prone and big prone. So I try to use lukewarm water, and then while I'm washing my body and shaving and whatnot, I like to put that conditioner on, and I just put that all over the ends of my hair and just in the massage it everywhere and then put that up in a little bun while I wash the rest of my body. I'm gonna go ahead and shower now and I will talk to you guys after my shower. Okay guys, this is fresh out of the towel, hasn't been touched yet. So the first thing that I do is I just pick it out with a pick and get all the knots and tangles out. So now that I have all the tangles out, I'm gonna go in with a serum, and I'm going to be using the Euphoria Nourish Beautifying Serum. And this is just a serum that I got from my hairdresser a while back. It doesn't have to be, cause this is a little bit pricey. I think for this bottle, it was like $28, which isn't too bad, and this is pretty good at high quality, but it could be like any kind of serum. The main thing that we're trying to do is to try to get to smooth out those hair follicles so that they don't get so big and they don't get so frizzy so I just take one pump of this into my hand, stick it over there, and then I just rub it around. And I really try to focus it on the ends where my hair has kind of been the most dry. This product has to be hands down the best product that I've had. This has been working for me so well. It controls the frizz for me and... Um, without weighing it down and it actually smells really good and I really, really have been loving it. And the product is Living Proof Weightless Styling Spray and this says it stops frizz, period, weightlessly blocks humidity, smooths without buildup and no heavy silicones or oils. So even for you guys whose hair flares up in humidity, this would be a really good product for you to use because it doesn't make your hair really heavy and it just, it, it's really great. With a little shake, I just start spraying it in my hair. So then I just go back with my pick and make sure I get all of that product distributed as well. 
That is it for the wet portion of what I do with my frizzy hair and this is the most hardest part of the whole tutorial because I am going to air dry it so that you guys can see what it looks like naturally after I put in these products. Um, and so while that's going on it is so important and I know this is like so hard because it's even harder whenever you know you're not supposed to do it but just try your hardest from touching your hair from personal experience the more i touch my hair the bigger and bigger it gets so now that i'm going to air dry my hair i'm going to try my hardest not to touch it and my hair normally takes about two hours to air dry because it's so thick and a little bit damaged. Other than that, I will see you guys whenever my hair is aired. Okay guys, it's been about an hour and a half later and my hair is pretty much dry. I went ahead and got ready and did my makeup and my hair is pretty much dry and this is what my hair looks like with just those two products in and air dried and I'm not going to be using any heat on it just because I've been really trying to keep my hair healthy and not fried since I got a lot of it cut off and so this is what I really do and I know for some of you guys this still might be kind of big and frizzy but compared to what it normally is like this is actually very very tamed and controlled so that is it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful for some of you out there that has frizzy hair or even if your hair flares up in humidity or just big hair in general. Um, I feel your pain. I, ugh, I have gone through hell and back with my hair texture and it's very big. And so I hope this video was helpful. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.